We're saying keep your eye on the number 45, Joey Payne. But my pick today is going to be Bobby Santos in the number 98 car. Guys? So now let's go up to the tower and hear from the voice of the NEMA Midgets. We're always happy to have him at the Speed Bowl, Pete Falcone. All right, Matt, thank you very much. And it is a pleasure to be back here at the Speed Bowl, the new Waterford Speed Bowl for the action of the NEMA Midgets as we get set to go 25 laps in this opening race for the 2007 season, the 55th year of awesome open wheel racing for the NEMA Midgets. The Northeastern Midget Association brought to you by Helping Hands of America Foundation on the web at helpinghandsofamerica.org and Work in America, one of the nation's largest manufacturers and distributors of machines for the paving industry, the proud series sponsors of the NEMA Midgets, as we mentioned here in our fifth season and a field that is made up of a group of veterans and a fair amount of rookies here in 2007. We have six rookies in the field today. The pole in the number 80, and then we've got Erica Santos outside as the green goes on down, and they're underway. Perna Siglio, a heat winner yesterday, leaps to the lead. And Randy Cabral quick to follow in that number 47. Here comes Noki Fanoro. Touches wheels, mixes it up with Erica Santos. They are hung up. Those two cars are hung together in a big crash here on the front stretch. That's Abby Martino going end over end in the number 88. Big crash. And Erica Santos in the front row once again. Green is out. Perna Siglio goes back to the lead in the number 80. This time the number 47 of Lou Sacconi. Liquid Lou up on the outside of Erica Santos. He moves to the second spot. Sacconi to second. Erica Santos is third. Being challenged by her brother Bobby Santos. That's Bobby in the number 98. Goes to the inside of Erica in turn number three. Santos around to take over the third spot. Erica Shuffle back to fourth. Ben Seitz is fifth. And Noki Fanaro racing with Randy Cabral for the sixth spot. Perna Siglio with a good lead, but it's evaporating as Lou Sacconi using all of that race car all over the back of Perna Siglio. Down the back stretch. And Santos now starting to close in the number 98. We got a three car race for the lead as they head across the strike. Perna Siglio out in front being dogged by Sacconi. Sacconi looking to the inside to come into the lap car of Kevin Park. And Perna Siglio will use Park as a pick and hold off Sacconi, at least for that turn. Meanwhile, Bobby Santos wants to join in the mix, as does Ben Seitz in the 17. He's moved up to the fourth spot. Erica Santos back to fifth. Randy Cabral is sixth. Joey Payne is seventh. Doki Fanoro is eighth. Aaron Wall is ninth. And Terry Frankoski runs in the 10th spot. That's your top 10 as they come around to complete yet another lap. Perna Siglio using as much of the racetrack as he can, but now Sacconi tries to make a move on the inside out of turn two, but not enough. Perna Siglio holds the lane. Wheel to wheel battle as Sacconi trying all over the place and the caution is out of spin. Out of turn number four. That's the number 99 of Terry Frankoski. We All right, thank you, Gary, as we're coming to the green. And it's out. Perna Siglio by a length at the stripe on the restart. Sacconi going to try the outside. Here's Bobby Santos trying to work the inside. And Ben Seitz now in battle with him. Throw a blanket over the front four. They're nose to tail and side by side battling for the lead. Classic midget racing at the speed ball. As Perna Siglio is still the head of the class, Sacconi for second. Seitz has moved to third. Now he's going to try and work the inside of Sacconi. Nothing going as Sacconi slams the door shut in turn three. All going on behind Pete Perna Siglio. Randy Cabral is fifth. Joey Payne is sixth. Loki Fanaro is seventh. Erica Santos is eighth. Adam Cantor up to ninth. And Britt Anderson is 10th. That's your top 10 as they start to come into some lap traffic. Santos back around Ben Sykes to take over that third spot and to pick their way around those lap cars in turns three and four. 
Perna Siglio continues to lead. Sacconi still looking for an opening. Santos in third. They're starting to pull away from fourth place runner Ben Seitz as they come to the cross flags. Halfway through the Nima Midget feature. Santos trying the low side as Sacconi goes upstairs. He'll try the outside of Perna Siglio. Perna Siglio holds him off. Here they are, wheel to wheel on a turn four. At the strike, Lou Sacconi by a nose. Perna Siglio digs back. Sacconi gets on the throttle out of turn two as Pernasiglio bobbles just a little bit. Sacconi is the new leader. Here comes Santos around Pernasiglio. Santos goes to second. Pernasiglio is third, Ben Seitz is fourth. Sacconi now trying to pedal away and get away from the 98 of Bobby Santos. Santos doing all he can to reel him in. Santos seems to be able to gain going into the turn but Sacconi really rockets off the turn and pulls a couple of lengths ahead down the straightaways. Pernasiglio holds on to third. Ben Seitz is fourth. Randy Cabral is fifth. Joey Payne is sixth. Noki Fanoro is seventh. Here's a battle for the lead and Bobby Santos. Oh, he tried as hard as he could, but nothing going. Spins it out out of turn four. Tries to keep the car up speed. Green flag. There's Sacconi back into the lead in the number 47. Now the battle for second between Ben Seitz and Pete Pernasiglio. Pernasiglio trying to hold on to that spot. Here comes Randy Cabral. Cabral in the team car to Sacconi. He's trying to take away the second spot. Up to the high side, a little bit loose, and can't get around Pernasiglio. Sacconi starting to check out in that number 47. Pernasiglio runs second, and now Joey Payne on the move in the number 45. He gets around Ben Seitz. Seitz, obviously, with an ill-handling race car. Starts to drop back as Bobby Santos tries to come back up in the number 98. Again, around some lap traffic. Sacconi, Pete Pernasiglio, and Randy Cabral as the laps wind down. Pretty well spread out as they work the backstretch. Here's Bobby Santos trying to pick up another spot in the number 98. Trouble for the 81 of Tim Heath. Heath spins out and we're under caution once again. Yellow is out. He's uh, done his homework here at the Bowl as we go back to green flag action. Green is out, and he wastes no time opening up that lead. Pernasiglio continues to run second. Randy Cabral is third. Joey Payne is fourth. Ben Seitz is fifth. And Bobby Santos is sixth. Two laps to go this time. Sacconi sees the white flag, he's just one more lap to go. Randy Cabral now being hounded by Joey Payne in that race for the third spot. As looks like Sacconi just has to guide it out of turn four, and he wins it. Pete Pernasiglio for second, Randy Cabral third, Joey Payne is fourth. All right, Matt, thank you very much. We are down here trackside and uh, very happy Lou Sacconi being hot by uh, car owner Tim Bertrand. And Gil, let's get Lou over here. We want to talk to him real quick because we got a long program yet to go and we want to get our uh, trackside ceremonies underway. Well, it's been a while since we've seen you in a NEMA midget, but you proved that you didn't lose anything in that time off. I'll tell you, it's, this here car is the copy of the car I sold these guys originally, and I felt like I never left it. It's been 10 years, and uh, I, I, that's awesome. It's just great. Well, we had a few guys take a shot at you while you're out front, particularly Bobby Santos, who gave it all he could. Saw a little bit of an opening over there in turn four, and it broke loose on him. But uh, that, that's about the closest competition you had all day. Well, my, my, uh, I thought that was Joey Payne, actually, but Santos runs really clean. He never touched me, put a lot of heat on me, but that's fine. But uh, and thank God I prevailed. Now, how often are we going to see you in this car this season? Uh, seven or eight times. All right. Well, you're off to a good start. Thank you. Liquid Lusaconi in Victory Lane here at the Waterford Speed Bowl picks up the uh, inaugural race of the 2007 season along with uh, Tim and Gil Bertrand. Uh, pictures being taken and a good run and we'll very quickly speak with uh, Pete Bernasiglio. Pete, that's a good run. You gave it a good go today. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I actually thought we could really win this thing right before the red flag. 
car felt really good, but I guess the car has cooled down. They kind of sealed off. We were a little tight after that. I was trying to compensate for it, but you can only run it in so hard before you break the back loose, you know? But Louie was fast. He was a little quick on them restarts. I was hoping I could maybe get him, but I think he thinks the line's in turn three, but whatever. I'm second. I'm all right. We're happy. And similar to his situation, a lot of guys took a run at you, tried to take that second spot away, and you were able to hold him up. I saw uh, what I thought was Joey Payne coming down underneath me after the restart, but uh, at that point, it's still my position, and he's got to get by me, so... And it worked out good. Well, a good start to 2007 for you. Thank you.